Last night was a night, y'all. Last night, I got off about 12. I got home right at one o'clock. And I was home maybe 30 or 40 minutes. And we heard this boom. It's hard to describe it. Maybe like, kind of hard to describe it because we really had no clue what it was. And then my husband was like, did somebody just walk up on the porch? Like we were trying to figure out what it was. Like it was a noise that we didn't know. Is that somebody walking on our porch? What was it? And then a few minutes later, it felt like somebody had hit the side of our house or, or ran into the side of our house. The house just shook and there was a loud noise. It was pretty, it was a little scary. So my husband told me, no, back up. We, we heard something like a thud or something, like maybe somebody's feet on the porch. So my husband said, and I, and I said, what is that? And he said, I don't know. Why don't you look out the window? So I looked out the window and the moment I pulled the curtain to the side to look out, a bright light flash like lightning right at that moment. And then the house went dark. And I was like, I jumped and closed the curtain. And I was like, what was that? What happened? And then a minute later, we heard what we thought sounded like somebody ran into our house or something fell on the house. So my husband jumps up and he looks out and the whole street, it's pitch black. And so he goes and he opens the front door and there is a tree that has fallen. Thank goodness it didn't fall on anybody's house. It was um, in the yard of the neighbor across the street and it fell not back over onto their house, but it fell this way toward our house. So it actually crossed the street. I put a little footage. It was dark. It was late. Um, and I'll put some footage of what it looks like. It didn't fall on you guys. Uh, that was a good thing it didn't fall that way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That car line to go right across. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, the one, the one, and the one that goes up this way too, see? See this one? Yep. Yeah. Because if the ground start to get too soft with all this rain, there's going to be more of them falling. Right. Well, I'm just grateful it didn't fall on anybody's yeah. house. Because we could have been hurt. I didn't take my grandmother's fence up neither. Yeah. Because of them, them dogs over there, you know? Right. Especially my dog, the big white one. I'm glad it didn't fall over there dying of what they had. Yeah. I'm just glad nobody got hurt underneath it. Right. So you guys are safe down there, right? Yeah. Well, good. I think that's what woke me up. Yeah, man, what woke us up? Georgia Power was out here within the hour, and they got here about 3, 3.30. And eventually we went to sleep, but I woke up at 5.30 because the lights were bright in the house. So I got up and cut off all the lights that were on when the power turned off and I went back to sleep. So I wanted to show you, I wanted to tell you about it and I wanted to show you what it looks like. I'm so grateful that it happened the way it did because it could have seriously damaged their house. They could have been hurt. If it had been a tree in our yard, it could have fell on our house. We could have been hurt. I'm just grateful, so grateful. Sometimes things happen in a way that you can tell it, it's a blessing that it happened that way. So let me show you what it looks like. So 
So this is what the corner looks like. Look at the stop sign. Look at the That's another sign that didn't make it. The trucks had to come in our yard. And that's a tree. It was actually coming from there, going across the road like that. So they just took like a front loader or something and rolled it out of the way. So basically it wasn't going to the side like that. It was coming across the yard. And then this is all the limbs and stuff that were on the tree. I guess they got them, they cut them up and just laid them over here. Locust Grove is gonna have a big cleanup my neighbors stopped to find out what was going on. Everybody wants to know. Hey. Everybody wants to know what happened. <laughs> it was scary though. I was telling my neighbor that it was real scary because the noises that we heard, we couldn't identify. We didn't know what it was. Um. <sighs> We didn't know what it was. When we found out, it felt better um, because we had identified the issue and then we were real grateful, but it was scary to go through that. Um, it was scary to go through that and we're just glad that everybody's safe and everybody's okay because it could have been a lot worse, especially on the house across the street. So, we're just grateful, y'all. We're grateful that things were not worse than, they could have been a whole lot worse. It could have been so much worse than what it is, and we're grateful that it wasn't. Um, I gotta run back in the house. Honestly, the reason that I never comment um, on the current matters around the world is because my vote and my trust and my confidence is in God's kingdom. And I know that until his kingdom comes, that all of these type things are going to happen. And so I continue to hope in that kingdom. I continue to put my faith and trust in it. I don't take sides. I feel for all of the victims all over the world and what's happening to them. I pray for their families, their mothers, their fathers all the time. I hate that those bad things have happened, but I don't have an opinion about what should or shouldn't happen. The only thing for me that should or shouldn't happen is God's kingdom coming. So, um, I'm sure that's gonna, that could be disturbing to some people because people want you to take a side. My side is God's kingdom. So I just wanted to say that in response to anyone that might be wondering, well, why do I never talk about those current issues? Um, that's why. So I hope that doesn't offend anyone, but everybody's opinion is their own, you know? I'm just grateful. I'm living in a moment of gratitude this morning because I know that things that happened overnight could have been a lot worse than what they are. And every time something like that happens, it just reminds me of just how blessed you 
blessed that, that I am uh, or should remind you of just how blessed you are. You know, when things happen in a way that make you realize, man, it could have really been worse than what it is. So I just wanted to share with you um, what happened to us last night. Um, I just wanted my family to know I'm okay. I'm headed to work. It is 11.08 Saturday morning. I'm headed to work. Of course, you know I work Wednesday through Saturday. So this technically is my last day. However, I'm supposed to work from home on Saturday, on Sunday, um, just for a couple of hours. But I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go in because, or at least go. I may go to my mom's house because I don't have any internet. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna go to my mom's house um, and do those conversions and uh, come back home. Because making is an hour drive and I don't want to do that tomorrow if I don't have to. So anyways, hope you guys are having a happy Saturday. Hope nothing like this has happened for you. Um, but something else I want to say, sometimes I get stuck in my head. I wanted to express my gratitude. So how have you guys been enjoying Blogist? I know that you're not used to me posting every day and the style that I've been doing. I did try it on my blog channel and I think I'm going to continue to keep you guys updated there at least once a week um, because I really like sharing me and y'all getting to know me and me getting to know you. I really like that. So um, I'll go back to Strictly Mobile Home stuff or centered around mobile home living in September, but I wanted to do vlogging and I wanted to make it personal so that we can grow as a family. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, if you have any suggestions for videos that you'd like to see during this um, vlogging series, let me know. Um, I hope you've enjoyed what I've shared so far. I'm real excited for it real thankful we've gotten a few new family members and that's been pretty special um and you guys continue to watch a lot of y'all i see just about every day um posting the video so thank you so much for tuning in i know i'm like that i have my youtube favorites that i have to check I ch i'm on youtube all the time i don't watch tv um I watch YouTube and that's what got me interested in even, you know, being on YouTube in the first place because I'm a real YouTuber. Everything I do is on YouTube. I don't have to watch TV. I think the only thing that I look at from a TV perspective is I look, I can look at the series Down Abbey over and over and over again. I have restarted the series maybe six times and I'm in, I can't even remember what season I'm in right now but Lord Gilliam Lord Gilliam's valet was just um, killed so that's where I am um, in the series um, Rose just had her coming out with a prince open the ball um, at her coming out and then Lord Gilliam's Valet was killed. So that's where I am. I own the movie, Downton Abbey movie, and I watch the series. When I get to the last um, episode, I start over. I could just watch the things that I like, I like. I can watch them over and over again. Shawshank Redemption, over and over again. Color Purple, over and over again. I'll, you know, just whatever movies that I like, I can watch over and over again. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, and anyway, I'm going to go pick up my coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. I stopped the series, but I'm just tempted every time I go to pay for somebody's order. So I picked up my coffee from the window and $6.30 popped up on the screen. And I was like, is that somebody's order behind me? And they were like, yep. So I paid for it. Bring a smile to somebody's face. It pays off. So anyway, 
love you guys pulling in to get my coffee headed to work hope you're having a great saturday talk to you soon